So everybody, welcome to the KVM microconference. Uh, it's the second time we, does, does this work? No, I, yeah. now it works, yes. So uh, welcome to the third time is a charm. <laughs> welcome to the KVM microconference uh, for the speakers. Remember to stay close to the microphone. Uh, this is the second time that we organize it and last year it was successful. This year we got a bigger room, so that's nice. Uh, thanks to all the sponsors of Linux Plumbers. Uh, and uh, of course, we're going to have nice technical discussion and everything, but remember not to exceed the bounds of the code of conduct and uh, no har harassment, essentially. You don't have to read it all if you are a nice person, essentially. If you think you are not a nice person, <laughs> you should have read it already. <laughs> So that's it. Well, that said, we can start with the first uh, uh, talk, uh, which is about PPM. So Zhang Shan and Wan Long, you can come. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Lai Zhen Sam, I'm from Ant Group. I, uh, I work on uh, virtual reason for secure containers. Who uh, and Long will uh, present later. And this is my topic. Uh, it's named uh, Page Table Based virtual, uh, virtual Machine as a PV driver for KVM. Uh, this is uh, the outline. Uh, we will we will talk about the motivation. As we uh, as we know uh, nowadays, the uh, uh, the virtualization are most uh, based on hardware in, uh, hard, uh, hardware <coughs> assistance. But we are uh, propose a new uh, pair of virtual uh, virtualization. It seems like that we are going back into the old history. Second, we will uh, detail our architecture, which include uh, the switcher and, and the guest and hypervisor. Mm. Next, we will talk about the design detail. It includes uh, a special uh, spe uh, specification, like the uh, uh, AMD system for specification. And 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 the optimi optimizations on the KVM and shuttle page. We relied on shuttle paging heavily, so we have some uh, opti optimization on it. Uh, and as Polo said, that um, uh, side channel killed a uh, gen PV. So we also talk about the drug model in in PVM. Uh, finally, we will. So the status and future works, and since the uh, since our RFC pass has sent, here is the uh, motivation. Before the mot uh, motivation, I think uh, we can talk about a little uh, history. Uh, in 2015, I jo I joined a startup company named Hyper. Uh, it has a product named uh, RunV, which is uh, run uh, virtualization. Uh, yeah, it leverages virtualization to run uh, uh, containers. Uh, it, uh, it, is the, it is the same as RunC, but it using uh, KVM. Uh, one year or two years later, uh, Hyper and Intel uh, put their work together uh, merge uh, run V and clear container into Kata containers. So nowadays uh, we have uh, Kata containers. After uh, after we joined Ant Group, uh, Ant Group is uh, uh, is, uh, is is more of a technology company than a financial company. So we focus the uh, the security. Uh, we focus the defense and def uh, the depth of defense. So we. Uh, use uh, Kata containers to run our services, and 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 the business uh, in 
our company uh, has uh, can fluctuate it. Uh, we we don't always uh, use uh, uh, use ferry metals. Sometimes we uh, we want our workload can be scaled out into uh, cloud uh, into uh, into v, uh, VM in in. The, so, uh, so, so this is the uh, important part. Uh, in in most uh, cloud hypervisor, uh, Nest virtualization is not supported. So, uh, so we uh, the reason are simple because uh, implement uh, because support Nest virtualization will cost the L zero uh, the TCP of the L zero higher, and it may. Uh, in, uh, introduce some unknown uh, bugs. Mm. Uh, uh, and, and it uh, enlarged the attack surface. Mm. And, and with uh, Nest, uh, hardware assistance, uh, Nest virtualization, the, the transition between L1 to L, between L1 to L2 are high. In, uh, in, in Kata calendars, uh, we we often overcommit the uh, VCPU a lot, uh, which re, uh, sometimes result some um, many uh, scheduling between the VCPUs. So this result uh, uh, transition between L L1 and L2. When with nested uh, virtualization, uh, L1 first have uh, trap into L zero and then switch to L two, in in between, uh, and L zero have to switch the uh, EPT and uh, VMCS. Uh, this uh, this cost is high, and and we mm, and the and and in uh, virtual races uh, next virtual reason the the shuttle EPT. Uh, efficiency is not high, especially when the when the VM is in a cold start stage. So we want uh, a new implement, uh, uh, implementation. We hope that it, it doesn't involve any L0 in environments. All the transitions are, are between L1 and, and L2. Uh, uh, and we specialize it for, um, for secure containers a lot. We uh, uh, we don't design it as a, a generic, uh, a generic uh, uh, implementation. So here comes the PVM. Uh, PVM is a PV flavor for uh, x86. Uh, X8, uh, it is a software implemented. Uh, we have found that the most components in in the Linux, in the Linux kernel are there. For example, we have PV apps, uh, shadow paging, and instruction emulator and API uh, APIC emulator. So we don't need to modify the Linux kernel too much to uh, to add a new uh, a PVM um, a PVM uh, a, a new <laughs> flavor. Mm. And uh, in the design of the specification, we don't want to uh, carry the history burden. Uh, for example, we we don't want to uh, uh, re uh, use the design of TSS or IDP such uh, indirect uh, uh, indirect people. Uh, those things are uh, can can cause a lot of problem. Um, mm. The name. The name of PVM is actually a, P, a page table based virtual machine. Mm. Uh, the name comes from the fact that the uh, previous, uh, previous uh, separation and emulation are based on page table. And, uh, mm. and, the, and its virtual memory is, uh, is also based on page table. So, uh, so, the, so we, the, the name is uh, page table. Mm. Here is the architecture of uh, a PVM. 
it, uh, it, it, in the center, it has a stretcher. Uh, it is it, uh, responsible for uh, stretching between the guest and, uh, and hyperizer and, and between guest user and guest kernel. Uh, in the lower part is the, uh, is the hypervisor. Uh, it, it consists of the kvm.ko and pvm.ko. And it, uh, it works as a new flavor for, uh, for x86 kvm, like, uh, like a, a vmx and an svm. It, it can also uh, work together with them if uh, Matthew KVM is part, uh, supported. Uh, at, at the higher part is the uh, PVM guest. Uh, it, uh, uh, the, the, the whole uh, PVM guest are run in the hardware registry. Uh, we, we use a set of page, uh, page to separate them. Um, uh, one part is the uh, guest user, and another part is uh, uh, a guest uh, kernel. Uh, when, when, they are, uh, when there are any events or, or there is uh, any uh, trans transition from guest kernel to guest user or guest uh, uh, user to kernel, uh, the code will enter the, 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 the switcher. Let's uh, talk about the switcher. The, the switcher is, uh, is a essential part of the, of the PVM. It, it is uh, integrated into the uh, kernel entry code. Uh, in, in the Linux kernel, in uh, x86, we have a CPU entry area. That's where the uh, switcher uh, has. Um, um, we, we, um, it is integral means that uh, the host kernel have the full control of the switcher. Uh, this is different from uh, GenPV and uh, LGAS. In, in GenPV and LGAS, uh, the, uh, the hypervisor or the switcher has its, its own entry code uh, and anything, uh, any hap uh, um, event happened. Uh, they handle first, uh, and then uh, uh, and then enter the uh, host uh, host Linux. The, this uh, this means the host uh, Linux kernel have um, cannot control uh, the entry code. Uh, second, uh, when when the switcher is uh, integrated into the the host entry code, the host entry. Uh, um, the the path of the host uh, process have have zero overhead because in in that case uh, the PVM code can be bypassed uh, in in PV or or LGAS, uh, everything has uh, has uh, entered the hypervisor or switcher first uh, we we can't el eliminate that cost uh, and third uh, when they are integrate together, the, uh, we can design the entry code and switcher uh, together, uh, including uh, mitigation uh, and other things. Uh, so that every, uh, every problem can be considered together. Uh, like, uh, like VMCS and in, uh, in VMX, we have a, a structure that uh, that can uh, help you to control how the um, how how it will enter the guest and when events happen, how it will uh, return back to the uh, hypervisor. The structure named uh, TS extra because this extra is embedded into the uh, uh, TS struct uh, the sort the software TS struct in the NAS kernel. Um, this, uh, this structure is only uh, 128 bytes, so it is small enough to uh, embed it in there and without in enlarge the host uh, entry code. Uh, to, to speed up the, uh, 
and search list uh, search list built-in gas diffuser and gas kernel. Uh, we also designed a direct switching mechanism. When when direct when in direct switch uh, in direct switch uh, the uh, the gas user can can direct uh, Transit, uh, transition into the gas kernel. For example, in um, in the in this picture, if there is no tracer, uh, when when a gas user want to and have, have a sys call into gas kernel, uh, it, the it will have the green light and the red light uh, transitions. Uh, with the tracer, only the green light needed. Uh, with a uh, safe uh, work switch. Uh, next, we will uh, let uh, uh, Hoan Long to, to present the next. Okay. Uh, uh, I will talk some changes on the guest side. Uh, thanks to the MPV, almost all changes are, uh, uh, we have PV ops, so almost all changes are self-contained. I will talk some main changes that uh, are not self-contained. The first change is exclusive adjust phase uh, separation. We, uh, we have to, because we have to map the switch into guest short page table, so, so, so we have to move the guest kernel image uh, uh, we, uh, as we know, the guest kernel image is uh, the kernel image is located in the, the top, top two D of the adjust space. We have to move the guest kernel image of uh, of the top two D. So we have first we have need a PIE a position independent executable kernel, a PIE kernel that can be put at any virtual virtual adjust even in the even in the low half part, even in the user space. If we try to enable the Intel LASS on the host. So we have sent our first uh, PIE patch set la la last year, and uh, the main concern is that uh, uh, the improving the security is not enough because only the base is only the base is randomized uh, is, uh, is randomized. It uh, it needs a clear use case. So we hope PVM guest can be the first use case for PIE. And we also see some patches in the patch set has been merged in the upstream. So we think some other guys also are working on the PIE. So we think the x86 kernel is ready for PIE building. And also, uh, besides the kernel image, we also want to make the, the host <coughs> kernel or host kernel adjust space and the guest kernel adjust space completely separation, separate. So we have tried to reserve a uh, uh, adjust range in the host kernel numerical area. Then, then the host kernel can keep the global beta to reduce the TLB flash. So we have to arrange our guest kernel, guest kernel adjust space layout in this Within this uh, allowed range, so we have to do some customized customization. This also leading to some limitations. First, uh, we have uh, there has no enough room to uh, enough room to support the whole direct mapping area. So we have a smaller physical address uh, space, and also we don't arrange the custom area in this range now, so custom is not enabled in PVM guest. The next part is about uh, the identity. We have uh, we PM, PM gas is also a KVM gas, so we have uh, it. Uh, it also uses the same 60, 64 bit uh, kernel uh, kernel entry. So we have to de detect uh, the PM gas support early in the uh, during the booting. Uh, we 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 
designs a detection principle by first we track the hardware, hardware of CS because the PM gas is running in the hardware, hardware ring three. And uh, then we try to get the CPU ID, the, the CPU ID information, but uh, we can't uh, use the CPU ID instruction directly because, because uh, we, uh, we are, uh, the PM gas is running in the, the hardware ring three. So without uh, the CPU ID for the uh, hardware future, we can't uh, get the correct uh, guest uh, CPU ID information. And uh, we don't, and uh, so finally we choose the in real cage because we, uh, we don't, uh, in the nested, uh, in the nesting virtualization, we don't want to travel to the L0 hypervisor too. So yeah, we see in real cage is, more, is the most uh, supported in the all CPUs and it want to be trapped in the QM2. And uh, also, we some some be, uh, some futures and behaviors. Okay. I had a question on the so if you don't have CPU ID faulting when you're running the user mode for your guest, how do you lie to that user mode if it's not enlightened? Uh yeah, we 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 know some 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 DLBCs use CPU ID directly. Uh, we uh, directly so. How else, uh, at present, uh, we didn't meet uh, the uh, user space application problem for CPU ID, no. But, uh, yeah, actually, there is uh, some MSR or something that lets you draft G G CPU ID with the general protection fault. So you're saying that they, if they don't have Yeah, but they can add it, like it's... They. No, yeah, yeah, I mean, for, uh, for the kernel, uh, I, it might even be faster to have a synthetic instruction that can just use a syscall instead of uh, in, insta instead of the CPU ID. But since they control the the transition between system and and user space, they could actually turn it on only when running in user space and turn it off when running in, in kernel space. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I think the problem is AMD doesn't have the CPU ID faulting. Oh, oh, they don't. Uh, it does. Uh, it does. Yeah. Oh, it does. Okay, so it does. Yeah, yeah. Uh, All right, so it's using CPU ID faulting. Yeah, we. Is there no. also any reason to lie to user space? Like, do you ever present a, a CPU ID model that's different from what's exposed to L1? Uh. Like, is there a reason to virtualize CPU ID for a PBM guest? Is my question. Uh, in uh, in guest kernel, it should use the uh, synthetic uh, CPU ID uh, instruction, so it can get all the uh, all the CPU ID from the uh, uh, K, uh, uh, KVM hypervisor. In in guest uh, user, uh, I don't think uh, I, I don't think they uh, they want to get uh, to uh, get the get get the <laughs> Um, this, uh, the information that usually need by uh, supervisor. Yeah, I, I think you need to lie anyway to user space. Uh, not user space, it may not be that relevant, but uh, uh, to the kernel, you need to lie about MSRs that you don't implement, of course, like the same as you would do in normal KVM. Like if you don't implement an MSR, you don't virtualize it or if you don't implement a specific uh, XCR zero bit or something. For uh, uh, user space, uh, I guess uh, the, right now there are not that many of them, but the, um, the various like bits like OSX save, stuff like that, if they added more, those are the ways that user space can read bits from CR4 and those you would have to lie based on what the kernel is using. I think the other aspect of this too, we don't have to have hardware support. If this is primarily running in L1, then you just need the L0 hypervisor to virtualize the CPU ID faulting. So even if we ran it on oh, we don't hardware, want it to travel to L0. Yeah, for CPU ID from the guest. But you're going to trap to L0 if it's CPU ID. Because KVM does not give you the option to not trap CPU ID. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, we, so we don't, uh, so we choose one instruction that want to travel to 
Uh, yeah, okay. Right, but I meant, sorry, I meant if user space isn't enlightened to do the paravert CQID and it just does normal, then you don't actually have to have hardware. Yeah. Anyways, we yeah. shouldn't rat hole on this. We can get to If there are some problems stuff. in the user space application, we may, we may make it. Uh, so we have five minutes left. Do we want to skip ahead to maybe the threat model, which is probably the more contentious okay. and uh, interesting thing? Uh, the next part is the event deliver mechanism. Where it actually we try to follow uh, the threat. Can we skip to the? We have five minutes left, oh, so and maybe go to the threat model. Okay, uh, and then let my colleague Jiangshan to show the threat model. Threat model. With uh, parallel virtualization, um, like JMPV, uh, uh, it, it has some uh, side uh, channel problems. But, but uh, we also, uh, uh, we, we split this uh, problem into two parts. One part is the, uh, how to, <coughs> this, uh, um, uh, how, to uh, how to protect the host from the, uh, the guest. Uh, 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 because we use the uh, switch uh, integrated into the host entry code, all of the um, um, all of the host uh, uh, host mit uh, mitigation can apply in the switch. Uh, so and and PVM guest works uh, just like uh, um, uh, just like a normal host uh, host process uh, host process. Uh, so, so that we uh, we use that part in the for for the other part that uh, we uh, uh, we uh, the the hypervisor should in, uh, enable the ability to help the guest kernel protect itself from the guest user. Uh, 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 <coughs> that uh, that part uh, is uh, is also implemented in the in the switcher. Uh, the the host, uh, the mitigation in the host kernel are also applied in the switch for, uh, for, for this case, uh, but some part of this can be uh, configured by the guest kernel. The, the guest kernel can choose to not, uh, not do all of the mitigations. Uh, uh, and, and if, uh, and, and the switch is mapped into the a uh, guest uh, page table uh, when the, uh, in the kernel mode, mode mm, when when if the CPU have the uh, meltdown uh, uh, meltdown problem, the the guest can steal information from the the uh, from the console st structure, uh, but but th those information are um, are not are not sen uh, sensitive. I think uh, is it answer your question? I okay. Uh. What's the main benefit over traditional containers? Then I mean, obviously, you don't have all the sys calls. Is that the the main motivation for the main motivation? Is is uh, enable we run secure container on 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 non hardware assistant. Uh, 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 environments. Uh, we we want to scale out our services into the into the VM provided by the cloud hypervisor. Yeah, perfect. Hi. So uh, I'm a Zen developer. I know a thing or two about PVGS. In your model, uh, you've got the guest kernel. Um, that's running in, in user space, or CPL3, isn't it? Yes, in hardware ring three. Yes, uh, so the problem there is that none of the hardware support for, the mi uh, for mitigations work <laughs> like they do. The, a whole bunch of things are based on tagging of CPL, so um, ring three versus non-ring three, or, or things like that. 
um, also inside root mode versus outside root mode. So things like EIBRS doesn't work uh, when you're trying to separate ring three from ring three. Uh, the only thing to do there is an IBPB, a full, full flush of the predictor, switching from one to the other, and that's a bit slow. So, mm. while, while, so whilst, you're, whilst you have code there running the mitigations that would normally happen on a user-to-kernel switch, it still doesn't work correctly when you're actually doing a user-to-user -user switch. Um. And it's kind of even worse because new hardware that's being designed has that assumption built into it as well. I mean, there's stuff, there's stuff that it, new stuff that will separate ring three and ring zero. So that's probably only going to get worse. In 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 Kata container, we, uh, we we want to enable the multi tenants uh, in, in, with Kata containers. The uh, the user. Uh, the owner of the application and the kernel are often the same owner. So, uh, so, so, so they are the same uh, tenants. Uh, we, we don't need all of the mitigations. We, uh, but I, that just kind of limits what you can do with it, right? 